Okay, now I'm working on page, still working on page 313, number 45, and page 313, number 50. Hopefully, oh, let me tip this a little bit so you can see the whole board. There we go. Okay, I know it's crooked, but it's the way it works and works right here. Okay, so here we have e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2 is equal to 1. Tricky problem. Tricky problem here. Okay. So first of all, I don't like that 2, so I'm going to get rid of the 2 by multiplying both sides by 2. So I'm going to multiply this side by 2 and multiply this side by 2. So what I get is e to the x plus e to the negative x is equal to 2. By the way, this problem is a little tricky to probably would not appear on a test. That would be a little tricky of me to do. All right, so... Um, now, this is e to the negative x, so I can write that as 1 over e to the x. So I get e to the x plus 1 over e to the x is equal to 2. All right? Now, I don't like that e to the x because it's in the, we don't like fractions. We avoid fractions when we can because why not? So I'm going to multiply the entire equation by e to the x. Okay, e to the x times e to the x. When you multiply numbers with the same base, you add their exponents, so x plus x is 2x. So I get e to the 2x plus here, e to the x times 1 over e to the x is just 1, and I get 2 times e to the x. Okay, uh, we have two different looking x's. We have a 2x and an x, so normally what we do is we set things equal to 0 and then solve. So I'm going to set this equal to zero, so I'm going to move this to the other side. So I get e to the 2x minus 2e to the x plus 1 is equal to zero. Now, this is where the substitution thing can come in handy. If you're not seeing things, sometimes it's good to view things slightly differently. So just for a minute, I'm going to say, what if I called e to the x a? Okay, and uh, you don't have to do this step. I just find it useful. So this, I can write this as e to the x squared minus 2 e to the x plus 1. Okay, because when you take a power to power, you multiply in 2x. That's the same thing. So now I can write this as a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, the reason why we do this is then... It's easier to look at. This is something you've seen before where what we get is now I can like factor this and I can factor this into a minus one times a minus one is equal to zero. Because a minus one is equal to a because then when I multiply these out, I get that. So now this, so now I get, I know that a is equal to one. In both cases, a is equal to one. Well, there is no a in the entire problem. A doesn't exist. A is actually e to the x. So changing this to e to the x. Okay, so what power do you need to raise e to to get 1? That would be 0. So you get x is equal to 0. And there we go. And I'll let that sink in for a minute. Okay. Next problem is 313 number 50. So once again, we have two different bases. So usually I, I like to write things as a single base using one base. So I can change things to a 2. I can change things to a 6. I could change everything to base 10. Um, doesn't really matter. So I think I'll change everything to base 2. So what I get is log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x divided by log base 2 of 6. Sorry, base 2 of 6. Okay, so this is just a number. I don't know what number this is. This is just a number. So I'm going to multiply everything in the problem by that number. So I'm going to multiply this side by it, and I'm going to multiply this side by it. Okay, so when I multiply this side by it, I get log base 2 of 6 times log base 2 of x plus this cancels with that. So I just get log base 2 of x is equal to um, 3 log base 2 of 6. Okay, now 
here I have the same thing repeated. So I'm going to factor that out. So when I factor that out, I get log base 2 of x times here when I factor the log base 2 of x out, I have log base 2 of 6. And here I get a plus 1 because remember when I multiply that back in, I have to get it. So 3 log base 2 of 6. Okay, now I'm going to divide both sides by this. So I get log base 2 of x is equal to 3 log base 2 of 6 divided by the log base 2 of 6 plus 1. Now change the form. Okay, we're going to change the form. So we're going to do our little spiral where this number to that power equals that. So I get 2 to the power of 3 log base 2 of 6 divided by log base 2 of 6 plus 1 is equal to x. So there we go. That's what x is equal to. Uh, let me check the back of the book. Okay, the back of the book got something totally different than I did. Give me a second and let me check that they're the same. Yep, they are the same. So the back of the book got this answer. 10 to the power of 3 divided by 1 over log 2 plus 1 over log 6. They turn out to be the both the same decimal, so they are the same. I assume that what happened is they changed this. They probably took the first step and changed everything to base 10, which is fine. You could do it that way. Uh, don't know which one's easier. Don't know which one's better, but there you go. Hopefully that helped.